reason they call it boy crazy. When you think about a boy for too long, you can totally lose your mind. like a very sweet equation, Miss Brooks. Let's try coming up with some solutions that are actually related to math. Like the ones on the board. If x equals b, then c multiplied by y equals ugh. Raisa, wait up! Who's Mr. X? Ugh! Hey, Jamie. Uh, Mr. X, he's like the master fighter in Gamer Glory's Warrior Series 6. Maybe I'll see you around tonight, eh? Later. Later, later, later. <sighs> he has this awesome jump shot, but I have no idea who he is. Robbie Jenkins said, later. Guys, I have to tell you that... Maybe he transferred here. Did I tell you? Robbie said later to me. Yeah, like 300 times. Sometimes saying what you want to say is hard. Sydney, obviously he wants to call me later. There's nothing hard to get about the word later. Sid, Sid what, what is, is it? it? I, I feel so terrible. I just, well, I can't do the sleepover. Get out! Friday night is RJS night! We haven't missed a sleepover since... never! Until one of us is living on another planet or getting married. Oh my gosh, you're getting married! Worse! I'm grounded because I did something so not worth being grounded over and my mom freaked out. What'd you do? Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm grounded. Yeah, but what'd you do? I... I can't talk right now. It's too painful. She's not telling us everything. Hey, going to the big game tonight? The big what? Oh, uh, sure thing. Uh, yep. See you there, Reza. He knows my name. It's not just a hair thing. I mean, his eyebrows make Robbie look mature, but in a good way. So, um, are you guys still doing the, uh, the you know what? The sleepover? Of course we are. But it won't be the same without you. And why were you grounded anyway? Reza thinks you're hiding something. Right, Reza? Reza? Is that, that him? him? What? Uh, you're drooling? I could ask Robbie about your cutie pie if you like. Not funny. Okay, the Liquid Cafe presents the hip hop stylings of the big game tonight at 8 p.m. Cover charge is $5. Be there! Hey, going to the big game tonight? The big game? Never heard of them. You, Sid? Reza! Uh, where did Sid go? I don't know. She's been acting strange all day. I guess it's the whole sleepover thing. She must be so bum. Jamie! Oh my gosh, it's Robbie. Mayo alert, left corner. Tell me this isn't really happening. This isn't really happening. Oh, you're a terrible liar. Oh 
I'm so into Girl World tonight after the stupid day I've had. That Robbie Jenkins has just got me so... Oh, Janie, I uh, can't do the sleepover thing. Last minute practice. Basketball practice on Friday night? Uh, power practice before the big game. The big game? You're going to the big game? No, I meant, you know, our next playoff game. What do you mean? <laughs> I meant the same thing, of course. The big game. I'm not lying. Fine, neither am I. Fine. Good, nobody's lying. So, it's signed, sealed, and delivered. We are officially sleepoverless. You got out of your plans. Tonight's gonna rock. I knew there was an explanation. Homework? On a Friday night? Nothing else to do. Isn't tonight RJS night? More like OFF night. Are you okay? It's weirder than weird. But I'm kind of more bummed Robbie hasn't called. Not that he said he would. I should care more about my friends than some... That's the thing about boys. They can mess with the natural order of the girlfriend thing. What do you think later means? This Robbie isn't a boyfriend boyfriend, is he? Because you know how your father and I feel about... Please, don't give me the you're too young for a boyfriend speech again. Just so that it's on record that I tried. I'll be in my room if anyone decides I'm worthy of calling. Hello? Hey, Jamie. It's Robbie. Robbie? Robbie Jenkins? Ha! I know who you are. I was just surprised you called. Um, so hi. Bunch of us are going to the Liquid Cafe to see the big game, and, uh, I was wondering, would you like to hang out with me? I mean, you know, with all of us? Like, a friend thing, you know? That'd be cool. Great. See you there. <laughs> Pick you up right here at 10 p.m. sharp. 10.30? 9.30. 10? So this is a just friends thing, and Evan will be there. Yep, promise. I know I acted like a baby, but thanks for treating me like I'm not one. I thought, uh, um. So much for being grounded for that totally terrible thing you supposedly did that you just can't tell us about. I, I'm just here to pick up some milk for my folks at this special milk store around the corner. While you're there, why don't you pick me up another pack of lies? By the way, nice basketball uniform. Don't change the subject. This is about Sydney's lies, not mine. You mean the lie about the big power practice for the so-called big game? And now, put your hands together for the big game! Do you like me? Do you want me? You're driving me crazy, crazy. I need to find out what you're all about. You're driving me crazy, yeah. I want to know why you're being so shy. You're driving me crazy, crazy. I gotta find out. I'm gonna freak out. You're driving me crazy. nights were like some sacred off-limits she-ritual thing. Apparently, Race and Sydney prefer the big game. And what about you? What about me? You like the band. I'm not mad. What? I can't hear. Who's weird? You don't understand. You're right. I should take a stand. What'd you say to her? 
Beats me. You know, girls. No. No, I don't. I just want you guys to know. You have every reason to be angry. I should never have lied. I was afraid you'd think I was lame for wanting to see a guy tonight instead of you. I was going to say, you guys are great. What? Yeah, truth is, I would have ditched both of you if Robbie had called last night instead of ba ba da ba tonight. Ah! Robbie, Robbie called you? you? Tell, Tell us, us everything. everything. What'd he say? I was all like, hello. Oh and he was gosh. all like, hello to back. <laughs> I know, I know, we're boy crazy. But we're best friends crazy too, and that's what matters. When your life starts to look like a scary movie, you can ignore it, make the best of it, or do what any normal girl would do. Panic! Rainy days give me the creeps. Ah, we're getting completely soaked here. Can we just pick a movie? I vote for Mindy's Dreams. It's supposed to be really deep. Yeah, deep like this puddle. I say we see a movie with some action. Uh, I'm with Sid. Mindy's Dreams sounds cool. Yeah, right, real cool. Mindy loves some guy and some guy loves Mindy and everyone gets all kissy face. Razor, don't give away the ending. 10 o'clock. Over there, look who's coming! Hey, it's Evan. And he's with Mr. Love of Jamie's Life, Robbie Jenkins. Shh! What do we do? Act cool? Just pretend we're trying to decide what movie to go to. We are trying to decide what movie to go to? Hey, if it isn't the Bermuda Triangle, the trio of girlness, the trio- Cute, Evan. You must kill yourself, you're so funny. Hi, Robbie. Hi, Jamie. You guys going to a movie? Why don't we all go to, like, um, the same movie? That's a great idea. Okay, Miss Kissy Face. Ow! How about Evan and Reza grab the tickets for everyone, and Robbie and I will get the popcorn? Sounds like a plan. Okay, but we picked the movie. Wait a minute. This isn't Mindy's dreams. Oh, we picked this other one instead because the guys really wanted to see this. You did want to go to a movie all together, right? I mean, we could leave. Don't be crazy. I'm completely cool with whatever. I just wasn't expecting it. So, what is it? Alien Aggressor 6. I just got the video game and it's awesome. Sounds kind of scary. Nah, it's only sci-fi scary. It's not a horror movie or anything. The special effects are supposed to be wicked. Sure you're not gonna get all freaked out, Ray? By some brainless guy-fi movie? Please, I love this stuff. I am no wimp. What's the matter, Jamie? I just dropped my popcorn, and I don't like to litter. You okay? Popcorn, in the eye. I wouldn't open that door if I were you. You'd think once someone in a scary movie would just take off. Run, dummy, run! Too late. Jamie! <gasps> Sid, don't sneak up on me like that. What are you doing? I'm gonna get popcorn. Want anything? Hey, Sid, wait! I'll go with you! Shh! A good sci-fi movie. We could stay for the next show and see it again. 
No! Uh, I have to get home for dinner. If I didn't, I would so see it again. Oh, did I miss the end? Too bad. It was such a great movie. How would you know? You spent the entire movie buying popcorn. Well, the first 30 seconds looked really, really great. Yeah, admit it, you girls were messed up by all those green tentacles. Evan, blood-sucking aliens don't bug me. Miss Archer's chem class, now that scares me. <laughs> How was Mindy's dreams, JJ? Didn't see it. We ran into the guys and ended up seeing Alien Aggressor 6. Kind of creepy, I heard. Wasn't that a little scary for you? Nah, it's sci-fi baby stuff. Dad, Mom, I am 12 years old, and I hate to break it to you, but green goo doesn't scare me anymore. Spinach, yes. Green aliens, no. Oh my gosh! This is just how that dumb movie started! Kevin! What are you doing in there? You nearly gave me a heart attack! Why was I so freaked out last night? I mean, look around, Kevin. It's the same old room I've slept in for 12 years. Oh, I'm so tired. It's just not like me to overreact like that. I must be going through some kind of growing spurt. Jamie, you look bagged. Couldn't sleep. Robbie on the brain? Couldn't sleep. You said that already. Couldn't sleep. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah, welcome back, Miss Brooks. Ah, uh, sorry, uh... It's just that I didn't sleep well. Nightmares. I mean, my cat, Kevin, was having nightmares. Don't you hate nightmares? I have a recurring one. In it, I give you a failing grade, and you get held back, and I'm forced to teach you chemistry again, and again, and again. Jamie, what was that screaming about? I can't believe you said you were having nightmares in front of everyone. It was Kevin, my cat, who was having nightmares, wasn't it? I thought that's what I said. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm so sleep starved. I know what's going on here. It's that movie. In fact, I bet your whole life feels like it's becoming a scary movie. Doesn't it? How did you know? That movie? Excuse me, but Alien Aggressors rocks. Ray, me and Jamie gotta talk. Oh, I see. You're both still mad because I didn't pick that mushy movie, Kissy Face Dreams. Fine, I can take a hint. Bye. Jamie, the whole reason I snuck out for most of the movie was because what's happening to you always happens to me when I watch scary movies. You start seeing green slime growing out of your teacher's head? Uh, kinda. Look, it's mind over matter. You just have to get it off your mind. Think about something else. Do something. Like, eat! It's actually liquid latex with red dye number six. Looks so real and so cool. What looks so real? In the movie, that fake blood that sprayed out of the big gash in the front of the alien's first victim. These are the best french fries I've ever tasted in my whole life. Pass the ketchup, will you, Evan? These two didn't like alien aggressors. Yeah, right. You're joking. Not everyone has a thirst for blood. Nap, that did it. Who needs food? Lunch must be just about over. I'm rested and ready to roll. Enough with the scary stuff. It was a teacher, not an alien. Ketchup, not blood. 
Mind over matter. Sid was right. I'm at school. Nothing's gonna happen. Hello? Anyone? Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh. This concludes our fire drill. Where's Jamie? Why isn't she outside? She be I was part of the fire safety demonstration, and he carried me out, and I was rescued in front of the whole entire school. It was just like the end of the movie, only better because he wasn't a blood-sucking alien. He was a fireman. So, you're not scared anymore? Not one bit. Totally over it. The end. I really don't think some silly movie is ever going to scare me like that again. It's all mind over matter, Dad. That comes with age. Yeah, not much scares the old man anymore. Tonight on Shriek Sessions, it's the 1958 horror classic, Beasts from the Abyss. <laughs> Not much scares the old man, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm just not a scary movie person. Laughing beats screaming any day. <laughs>